Welcome, Climate Viewers. This is Jim Lee from Climate Viewer News at climateviewer.com. It's February 21st, 2022, and there are reports out there that LRAD's sonic weapons were used on the trucker convoy up in Canada, but people were confused because it's actually Australia. And I want to get into what is an LRAD, what is a sonic weapon. Um, the difference between sonic weapons and directed energy microwave weapons. And um, we'll, we're going to dig into the facts behind this. Um, got some video footage, got some really cool stuff to show you. Um, this is the wave of the future. Crowd control, riot control with directed energy weapons. They didn't call it the Joint Non-Lethal Warfare Directorate for... No reason. Because they want to be able to conduct non-lethal warfare on people like you. People who just want freedom and your ability to express yourself in a peaceful protest. Peaceful protest, not a good thing according to the powers that be. And they want to shut it down at all costs. And if they can do it without killing people and just causing you a little bit of pain... um then they're going to get right to that. So before we go any further, if you're watching this anywhere else, my videos are free. You can download them, do whatever you want to with them. Um, if you're seeing this somewhere else, come over to YouTube and type in climate viewer, all one word. Um, so please subscribe. We're real close to 26,000 subs. Um, YouTube's constantly unsubbing people. I get messages regularly from people who are unsubbed. So please check that button. Make sure you're subbed with the bell on. Um, and come over to connect.climateviewer.com. It is the central hub for all things Climate Viewer, from the three websites I have to um, my YouTube, Odyssey, Rumble, BitChute, Discord, Chat, all my social media. Please support me um, with a monthly donation on Patreon or a one-time donation on PayPal. It helps out the channel, helps out my family personally. It's our only source of income. And with that being said... Let's get to the tale of the tape. So Canberra convoy given eviction date from showgrounds. Anti-mandate protesters told to leave Epic grounds by Sunday. So for those who don't know, it's not just Canada. Um, deep down, our southern brothers um, in Australia, in the capital city, of Australia, for those who don't know where Canberra is, um, it's over here on uh, the right coast down here in the southeast. That's where Canberra is. Um, yes, I'm going to be on quite frankly tonight. Everybody's got to tune into that. I will be mentioning it and giving links to quite frankly. Um, we're going to talk about anonymous hacking and uh, the give, send, go hacker, among other things. The entire history of Anonymous, what happened to it, and it's going to be hella interesting. You cannot miss this show tonight on Quite Frankly. Um, so this video showed up, and of course, something just as bland as, what's that? <laughs> um you got to dig into it. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this up to full screen and we'll listen to it together. Why, where's the sound? Why do I not have the sounds? Not muted. Okay. Uno momento a por favor. A. And the sound is here. And the sound is right there and it's set up on my darn speakers all right there we go get it
Okay, so he's clearly wrong about it being microwave, but that's beside the point. What we're seeing right here is a sonic weapon attached to a police vehicle. And obviously the power for it is in the back end of that um, truck right there. And, you know, there's a lot of common misconceptions about these weapons. Um, but I wanted to clarify all of this. And I've done a great job of that. You can go to the details right now on this video and see um, a post I did in 2018 really covering the gamut of directed energy weapons. Um, if you want to know about directed energy, sonic, microwave, laser, and non-lethal warfare, um, this is your one-stop shop for all things um, microwave and others. So... What we have here is, you know, basically the entire history of this technology. I'm going to blow it up really big so everybody can see at home, get my face out of the way. And, you know, this, this, this is kind of interesting. It's a patent from 1990 on what's called an electromagnetic directed energy pulse train or the acoustic version, the sound version of it, which is called a adept an, acu an acoustic directed energy pulse train it's the idea that um electromagnetic missiles or bullets bezel beams transient beam fields or splash pulses the idea that using maxwell equations that they could focus an energy that could transmit over a long you know a long uh, distance without diverging it is focused energy over a long, um, you know, transmission. Localized transmission of electromagnetic energy from Lawrence Livermore Lab, 1988. Also mentioning electromagnetic directed energy pulse trains, um, solutions of Maxwell uh, equations, um, and of course, directed energy weapons, future strategic issues, future warfare, circa 2025. Um, pretty famous paper here where they go through all of the different capabilities of what you know could we could see in the future. Um, pretty fascinating thing. Won't go through all that. But the Directed Energy Professional Society. So there's actually a group of individuals who focus on this. It's, it's a, a huge business because you people are a problem and they need you to shut up and they need you to shut up now. And if you won't shut up, they're going to make devices to help you shut up. Um, and you can see this here, 2018 directed energy educational outreach. The United States leads the world in directed energy technology pictured over here in the side, all kind from bombs to lasers um, to, you know, hardware based here are some of the funding members, um, companies that are just Booz Allen, Hamilton, Air Force Research Lab, BAE Systems. All of these guys, um, you know, talk about design this Raytheon being one of the big ones, Lockheed Martin. Um, I had a question in chat, and uh, let's just uh, bring that up. Um, what do you think that's uh, what they are using for Havana syndrome EMP? Um, no, we're going to go into Havana syndrome at the very end of this video. And I'm, my next video is going to be directly about that. Um, new news on that. As a matter of fact, panel of experts concludes microwave energy is most likely causing Havana syndrome. Um, and, you know, I just previously did two videos on Havana syndrome um, directed energy attacks, Havana syndrome and targeted individuals and people cookers, Havana syndrome spreading. I'm going to update those. So that, that video is coming out as well. Um, questions in chat are always right on point. Um, but the national scope of directed energy activities, I got a map here and these are all the different places that are currently working on directed energy technologies. Um, absolutely insane, mind blowing stuff. Um, and you know, I go into a lot of this stuff, all these videos, this vid, this will burn you alive. Uh, of course that's not there anymore. This video is unavailable because YouTube doesn't like the truth, but, um, this is the active denial technology, ADT 
active denial system. Um, and the you know the Bofors uh, HPM blackout uh, high powered microwave system. It's like a subwoofer from hell. Um, you can learn about all of these technologies on uh, the the links provided in the details. I hope you'll check it out. Um, laser weapons, long list of them. Um, non lethal warfare, and this is where it gets to the point. Joint non lethal weapons directorate. Um, this was a you know classified now unclassified um, document and right up front we have what's called the acoustic hailing device or um what's known as the lrad but what most people don't know about this technology and um, i'm just going to get my face out of the way for this for a moment because they're going to blow it up so everybody can see it at home um is that it's not the only one um so a lot of people focus on the lrad but there's also the MRAD, the Hyper Spike, and MAD. Now, MAD is a is a pretty pretty crazy one, um, and we'll we'll get into that. But target type counter personnel intended target response deny access into out of an area to individuals, more individuals through move individuals through an area and suppress individuals. Description. Acoustic hailing device provides scalable directional warning tones or intelligible voice commands beyond 500 meters. This is also known as a voice of God weapon because you can speak into a microphone and people can hear you from over 500 meters away as if they were standing next to you. Um, the difference is some of them actually uh, can, you know, like this one, the big difference here, okay? Um, MRAD, star, medium range acoustic hailing device. LRAD, long range acoustic hailing device. MAD, and this is the scary one, magnetic audio device. Now, if you get hit with MAD, this can cause some pretty wicked stuff. And that's why I want to separate these out because what you're about to see is um, where people are confused about the different technologies um, and, and so much more in here. You know, the active denial system, um, how, you know, you can cook. It's a people cooker. The improved acoustic hailing device this is the improved version of the um, LRAD, which seems to be like what we were seeing mounted on that vehicle. Okay. So every, everybody's calling it an LRAD. Um, military obviously has different terminology for this sort of stuff. Um, I cannot confirm nor deny whether the LRAD or the IHAD, a -A -H -I -I -A -H -D, um, most people throw the hailing part out, but that's this is the original tech terminology. Um, this looks like it was probably the improved acoustic hailing device that was mounted on there. Um, but regardless, they also have these in the mobile version, both of which you can see in the picture right here, um, looks exactly the same as the devices in this picture, the improved version. Um, and you could see that pretty damn clearly. I mean, that's the same thing right there, that device is exactly the same um as the photo so you know we can go into all you know all of that it would make this a very long uh video i'm not going to do that um i'm pretty sure you guys if you're interested in it go to direct energy weapons 101 on climateviewer.com link is in the details let's get back to the story so to confirm what in the absolute hell is going on with my computer just jump to the other screen um so we wanted confirmation on this because there was a whole lot of people going well they didn't actually use it did they actually use it um or did they not use it i'm trying to figure that out uh you know what's the deal here um so this is andrew um bogut um Australian government and police used LRADs on its own citizens, and it is not front page news. For the kids up the back, remember, if you agree with the this because you disagree with 
slash hate the protesters, the day will come when the government is in power that you want to protest. Um, and I fully agree with that. You know, at first they came for your so-and-so and I did nothing. And then they came for me. Um, there's this whole tribal mentality that it's okay um, to target these people because they don't like vaccine mandates, because they don't like um, mask mandates, because they're standing up and protesting what they believe is government tyranny. And I agree. Um, you know, how, how come it's, it's my body, my choice when we're talking about abortion, but when we're talking about vaccines and masks, your body is not your choice and dictators around the world who call themselves, you know, presidents and, uh, prime ministers, they're dictators and they are not allowing you your body, your choice. So this is, this is obviously a big problem right now. Um, and of course this guy had a video, did police use LRAD on the convoy? And you know, he, he goes back and forth on it, but regardless, um, this is an interesting exchange from what appears to be a representative in Canada or Australia. Why, why, why do I have no audio? I mean, again, it's just not picking up the audios and I don't know why <laughs> it's just being stupid today because my speakers are, yeah, there my good, there. There we go. We'll back it up. I'll be nice about it. It does appear to show the deployment of an LRAD machine, a long range acoustic uh, device, I think it's called, which is a device designed to um, uh, pitch sound at long range and can cause some pretty serious injuries. You, you can't confirm, even given that photo, that that device was deployed on, on the day. With the benefit of having had that, that photograph, which tends to confirm it, um, we still can't confirm that that device was was there on the day. Yeah, I think to be proper, I'd, I'd, I'd like to take that on notice. But what does a question on notice mean? Well, it means that a question must be asked in writing and the answer will also be given in writing. So what does an LRAD actually look like? Okay. So anyway, so he's asking, you know, what appears to be a military official. Maybe he's a police officer. I'm not exactly sure. Um, but... He's asking them, and the guy's like, eh, it's probably a cop. Um, you know, did you guys use a freaking LRAD? Straight answer. And he's like, um, I'm going to need that answer, that question in writing, and I'll get back to you in writing. Um, but, you know, this is this is really a moot point at this point. Um, this is also from the scene. How about that weapon over there? They're facing at us right now. Yeah, that's, that's confirmed. That's why I've got these black... Just get a piece of tissue, guys, or something. Those weapons at Parliament. See those screens, those grey rectangles, those squares, with those right police? They've deployed supersonic weapons. That's why you're feeling a bit nauseous or uneasy. So the police have got earplugs in. Have a look. Look. Okay. So he said this is um, Austr Aussie Cossack, and it says Canberra police refused to protect child from LRAD. And he goes straight, to, straight off the um, you know, cuss, says... This is why you're feeling nauseous. Um, and I want to go back real quickly and refer to the difference because what we were talking about earlier with MAD, magnetic audio device versus an LRAD versus an MRAD, um, the magnetic audio device actually targets the inner ear, okay, with magnetic um, energy, not sonic energy. This is also what's known as the scream, okay? And Israeli army has developed a device they're calling the scream, which issues short bursts of highly tuned sound designed to get in someone's head and stay 
there most uncomfortably until they leave the device's range. The noise isn't particularly loud, and the effect is nothing like standing too close to speakers at a rock show. Instead, it's tuned to a specific frequency that targets the inner ear and disrupts a person's equilibrium. The result is nausea and dizziness even after the song is so, sound is no longer broadcast. It is an unbearable sensation and covering your ears is no defense. Okay? So that's the main difference between the scream, okay? Um the scream or a mad, a magnetic audio device is a voice of God weapon, but more importantly, it can disrupt your equilibrium. It can make you nauseous. Um, they have flashlights with puke rays, mobile microwave pain beams. Um, the list of different non-lethal warfare weapons out there for crowd control are pretty insane. Um, but of course, this individual, he was more on the money when he said supersonic, because these are, you know, high, high frequency sound when they're in alert mode. Okay. When they actually put out the distress signal sound, um, there's a big difference. So, um, just clarifying that. And then, um, you know, Australian police confirm use of LRAD sonic weapon at protest against COVID-19 vaccine mandates. Um, and this is from Epic Times. But according to ABC News in Australia, sonic weapons were used by police in Canberra protests, but only to broadcast messages rather than do harm. So this is about alert mode versus broadcast mode in broadcast mode they can literally pick up a microphone and say everybody leave the vicinity you've been evicted from the epic showgrounds here in canberra um this is now an illegal protest if you do not leave you will be arrested and everybody's going to hear it whereas they can flip a switch on that lrad and then it's going to go wah 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 and it's going to make this really high pitched sound which is painful um and can deafen you permanently don't believe me piper versus city of pittsburgh et al um the aclu on of pennsylvania filed a federal lawsuit on september 21st on behalf of karen piper a bystander who suffered permanent hearing loss after Pittsburgh police deployed a long-range acoustic device, LRAD, against protesters during the 2009 G20 summit. And LRAD emits harmful, pain-inducing sounds over long distance. Developed for use by the military, LRAD technology has never before uh, been used against U.S. civilians. And on September 24, 2009, Piper, then visiting a professor at Car Carnegie Mellon University, decided to observe the G20 protests and then lost her hearing permanently. So this is, this is clearly can be used as a weapon that will do permanent bodily harm to you. Um, be very clear about that. Um, so yeah, they're saying that in in Australia, they didn't actually put it in alert mode. They didn't actually turn it on in weapons mode, but they did use it to warn all of these protesters. Uh, what protesters are we talking about? These guys right here. Um, you know, so this is from the fairgrounds. Um, and most people haven't even heard about this in, in Canada, um, Canberra, Australia, but it's not just in Canada. Also, the trucker convoy, freedom convoy coming to America. News on that in just a second. But as you can see, lots and lots of people, um, they don't want anything like this. You people need to go back to your houses, lock yourselves down, quit your protests and shut up. Take your jab and, and put your mask on and be good little sheeple or we're going to bring out the big guns and fry your little earlobes. Um, and if you don't think that that's bad enough, 
oh, we got even better stuff. We've got, um, you know, active denial technologies where we can microwave your ass, literally cook you, people cookers. Um, but this is from 11 times audio was used as a weapon of control. LRADs are powerful sonic devices used by police to quell protests. And, you know, they go through all of the lists, um, you know, different things. There are acoustic devices used against Somali pirates. Uh, U.S. diplomats in Cuba may have been targeted by a mysterious sonic device. Not sonic. It's microwave. I was right in my previous two videos. I called it. Um, they tried to say it was crickets. They tried to say it was sonic weapons. No, now a panel of experts. Um, expert. Uh, a panel of experts has now said, yeah, um, the injuries suffered by several do dozen diplomats and spies were consistent with directed energy, uh, the panel said, um, saying that it's microwave energy, not sonic energy. Uh, but I knew that, and I told you so. Um, like we need a panel of experts. I got a freaking high school diploma, and I read a lot, and I could tell you that just based on the Moscow symbol, uh, s signal, what's going on in Cuba, what's going on in China, them describing what has happened to them. Um, all of the human health effects of these are at the bottom of this article. So if you scroll on down here, um, you can read all about it. Um, infrasound, very low frequency noises, infrasound, Effects on the on the human body, discomfort, disorientation, nausea, vomiting, um, you know, to VLF and all of that stuff. The sonic weapon of Vladimir Gavro about how you can stop a person's heart with a certain frequency. Um, it's in there. Not going to really talk about it right now. Um, but basically shut off everything in your medulla oblongata, which controls breathing, which controls all the auto autonomous uh features of your body, you can shut that off with microwave energy. You can shut that off with infrasound. So, um, but in the case of the Havana syndrome, we're more than likely talking about microwave. Oral disruption tactics were blamed for a 2018 evacuation of the American consulate in China. Um, U.S. military captured Manuel Noriega by blasting heavy metal at him night and day. Um, FBI used sound to deprive Branch Davidian cult of sleep during the Waco siege, and then they burned the mother effer to the ground. Um, in Operation Wandering Soul, Creeping Audio, Creepy Audio was used to demoralize Viet Cong combatants. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. The Nazis were developing sonic cannons for World War II, but they never saw the battlefield. North Korea uses propagandized music, but South Korea retaliates with K-pop, and other countries have responded with USBs. Um, Russian Cold War scientists discovered infrasonic waves could potentially tear people apart. Rip you to shreds with infrasound. Sound below the threshold of hearing. Sound below 20 hertz. The typical human with good hearing can hear from 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. Infrasound is from zero to 20 hertz. And in that, that's whenever you're, you're listening to music and you feel the bass, that's acoustic pressure waves that you cannot hear, potentially, but you can feel. And at certain power ranges, yes, infrasound can not only shut off your heart, shut down your brain, it can literally rip you to shreds. There are infrasound weapons out there um, that are being designed that can actually, if deployed on a battlefield, would be equivalent if not worse than a nuclear blast because the infrasound would destroy steel structures concrete would pulverize it immediately any human within the vicinity would be liquefied from the inside out um infrasound weapons are the scariest damn thing i ever heard of period 
The problem with infrasound weapons are they are non-directional, whereas LRAD and um, these other focused beams, they can be focused like a laser on the target that they're aiming at. Infrasound is omnidirectional, so it goes in every direction, same time. The problem with infrasound weapons is that, typically speaking, if you make them powerful enough, whatever deploys this weapon will probably be destroyed as well. It's not like you can mount an infrasound cannon on top of a tank and not kill the people in the tank, let alone destroy the tank and the weapon itself. Um, so regardless, that's that's a big problem for them. They, they really need to get that figured out. Um, otherwise, they're not going to get very far with this. Um, but like I said, trucker convoy, um, truckers for freedom, now coming to a state near you. Uh, we'll just quickly go through the the, the highlights of this. Um, can I make that bigger? Let's just let's just bring this up over here. Um, so the Freedom Convoy will be arriving Wednesday, February twenty third in uh, California, and then leave for Arizona on the twenty fourth. Um, then it's going to go to Texas on the twenty fifth. Uh, from Texas to Oklahoma on the 26th, and then Oklahoma again on the 27th, going back. Um, and right here, let's bring this up. Um, then from Oklahoma to Missouri, um, MO is Missouri, right? No, Montana, yeah, um, Sullivan, Montana. Then in India, Indianapolis in uh, Indiana, um, and then over to Ohio, down to Maryland, and then arrive at the DC Beltway on March 5th. So look for the Freedom Trucker Convoy to be crossing America. Um, there's probably going to be a whole lot of people riding along with it. Lots of live streams of that. Um, I think that, you know, the, the people up in Canada have really started a fire and I'm loving it. I love a good fire. Um, so that being said, um, there is a trucker convoy is coming to America. It's crossing from coast to coast with the most um, epic people who are willing to put their lives on the line, get out there and tell these people enough with your dictatorship, enough with your mandates, my body, my choice. We will live free or die um, trying. And I think that that is commendable. Everybody should give them a round of applause in advance. Tune into your local social media. Um, the less censored, the better. I'm over here on Getter. I absolutely love Getter. Um, so if you guys want to go check me out, I'm on getter.com slash user slash climate viewer. And of course, you can just go over to connect.climateviewer.com and follow all of my social media see climate viewer news weather modification history and climate viewer maps um and all of my social media are down right here getter gab the the, the old school facebooks and twitters and uh parlor which seems to just absolutely be dead i don't even know why i signed up for it um and join us in the the discord chat room um, and while you're doing this, you might want to go to expressvpn.com slash climate viewer and get yourself a VPN, protect your privacy. Um, your internet service provider is basically writing down everything you're doing, every website you go to, and they sell it for profit and they give it to the police and they give it to the department of homeland security and they give it to the NSA and the CIA and all of these uh, government officials that want to break your balls, that want to shut you down, they're going to continue to do so because they're able to track everything you do. And it's on you to protect your privacy. Um, if you use my code, go to expressvpn.com slash climate viewer, you can get three months free. Um, and that's on a year plan. I personally use ExpressVPN, have for over five years. It is the fastest. They have a no log policy. Even if the military or the police tried to call, ExpressVPN said, give me Jim Lee's internet unencrypted, everything that he was doing, 
They can literally look at them and say, go fuck yourself. We didn't even write it down ourselves. Um, that's why they're the most trusted. And that's why I um, tell everybody, hey, if you're going to do it, do it right. Go with um, uh, ExpressVPN. And by the way, that leads us to the end of this video where we're really going to talk about what's coming up tonight. Because as some of you know, um, this prick shut down the trucker convoy okay so give send go uh was basically you know gofundme was taking money for the freedom truckers up in canada and this prick aubrey cottle um hacked give send go and then leaked all of the email addresses of people who donated to give send go because GoFundMe had already, you know, shut down uh, the GoFundMe for for the Freedom Convoy. Then, um, you know, basically they got sued by Florida. And yes, VPNs really work. Um, VPNs, the level of encryption on ExpressVPN is second to none. Um, there are very few that you're going to find that aren't absorbed just outrageously expensive um ideally if you wanted to really go the extra mile you could get into two hop three hop situations where you have multiple layers of encryption um an encrypted uh browser there are many levels um, to this sort of thing i did make a video recently about protecting your privacy online it is a noob tutorial to get you started i will do a more advanced version of that in the future um but you know yes virtual private networks if if you are in a like say you go to the beach and you're in a hotel and you connect to the wi-fi i can literally read all the everything you're doing if you're not on an encrypted vpn because your your passwords can be uh broadcast when you're logging into twitter when you're logging into facebook when you're logging into your bank i can literally grab that data um you know with something like wireshark i mean there's so many of these programs out there um kali linux and literally just sit there and let it run and then come go off have a good time on the town come back home um look at my laptop and then see everything that everybody in the building has done all day long all in charts everything saved where yes you need a virtual private network it encrypts everything from your computer to express vpn servers and in the middle where your internet service provider is they cannot read anything coming through there because it's encrypted the only way, and I'm going to be real with you, the NSA can still grab that information and they can put it into their supercomputers and with enough time and effort, they can crack the codes for your encryption and unencrypt that data. But you have to be an extremely high priority target for them to do so. So that's that's the, that's the honest to God truth. Um, but in the case of, Pricks like this, when people are trying to send you emails with phishing links, their goal is to get your IP address so they can then scan your computer, so they can then find open ports on your computer, scan you for vulnerabilities, install malware, gain full control of your computer. And the only way to do that is if they can get your IP address to begin with and they cannot if you're on a virtual private network that's why i highly suggest everybody uses a vpn um if you don't get express vpn using my code get a vpn um just understand that if it's a free vpn they're probably stealing your data selling your data too nothing in this world is free period um but we're going to talk about this prick tonight um how he used to be a member of Anonymous. He even brags about um, taking down pedophiles and you know pedo websites. I too was a member of Anonymous. 
I too was a part of that taking down pedophiles, breaking into these servers where these guys are, you know, trading child porn and then hacking their databases, getting their email addresses, figuring out their real names, their real addresses. It was called hashtag op death eaters. You can still look this up. He doesn't say so. I was there. I did it. Hashtag de op death eaters. But the problem with anonymous is we went from a place where hacktivism was something cool and something righteous to this divisive, poisonous, us versus them, politicized bullshit that we have today. We're going to go into all of that tonight on Quite Frankly. Um, yes, he is definitely a leftist. Yes, he is definitely a libtard. And that is where the majority of the people who are running the anonymous Twitter feeds went. And it, it perplexes me. It aggravates me. And I'm really going to rip into it tonight. From the history of where Anonymous originated to the lull sec good old days um, to how Sabu was arrested by the FBI and sold out all the members of lull sec and Commander X never gave up a single person's name to the total breakdown of Anonymous following and what we're left with is fools like this ranting in the screen, doxing themselves because they want the notoriety. But trust me, payback is a bitch. <laughs> Nothing scares me. Nothing. Yes, I doxed the truckers. I did it. It was me. I hacked Give, Send, Go, baby. And I do it again. I do it a hundred times. I did it. I did it. Come at me. What are you going to do? What are you going to do to me? Huh? I hacked Epic Hosting! I hacked Parlor! I hacked Gab! I hacked Truth Social! I hacked Go! Give, send, go! I don't care! I'm, you can literally put my name into the news tab on Google and you can find everything I've done! I am literally in every mainstream media publication for the things that I do. I'm not an unknown actor. I'm literally a famous fucking cyber terrorist. And you think that you can scare me? <sighs> He's scared now. Let's be real. Because the saying back in the day when I was in Anonymous is, we are legion, we do not forgive, we do not forget, expect us. And even though there's a whole bunch of Karen, libtard, freaking retards like this, who are out there trying to gain some notoriety because they did it for the cause, because it's all white supremacists and brown boys are funding these people who care about their freedom. And he is proud that he did this. And then he acts so, and this is the stupidity of it. Now he's acting so freaking righteous. I'm not scared of anything. He's real scared now. Because guess what? There's a lot of people like me too. And they already got his ass. Um, but anyway. That guy's going to have to bury himself in a very deep hole very soon because karma is a bitch. And we're going to talk about that tonight on Quite Frankly. Um, I hope that you guys will tune in. It is Quite Frankly on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Quite Frankly. 
You cannot miss it. Or go to quitefrankly.tv, quitefrankly.tv, and uh, tune in. This is over on his uh, Foxhole app. He's also on DLive and a whole bunch of other places. If you have not subscribed to Quite Frankly, you are missing out because this is my dog. Frank puts on an amazing show Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. every single day Eastern. 7 to 9 Eastern, Quite Frankly, be there or be square. It's the reason that I go live at nine o'clock if I do a live show during the week, either in the morning or at nine o'clock. Because you know what? I'm watching, quite frankly, and I'm not going to interrupt my dog. So if I'm going on, it's going to be after, quite frankly, goes off. Um, Because that's how we get we gets down. So please tune into that tonight. Uh, I, it's going to start at 7 o'clock. I'm going to be getting on there real soon, um, probably 7.15, 7.30 at the very latest. And we're going to go through the history of Anonymous, um, the you know demise of it, um, and what happened with Gibson Go and uh, Aubrey Cottle and all of these you know really woke, hacker, loser, wannabes that are out there today. Um, and how to protect yourself as well. Hopefully we can get to that as well. So, back to the story. Man, like I said, I've already done a couple videos on this. Directed energy attack, Savannah Syndrome targeted individuals. This was in, uh, I believe, March? Where did the date go? Um, this was in May 2021. Follow up video was in September of 2021. People cookers, Havana syndrome spreading. And I'm going to have a new update on this panel of experts that concluded exactly what I said in both of those videos. This is dated February 2nd, 2022. Um, more to come on this story. It's only getting more and more uh, popular with the mainstream narrative to talk about. Um, microwave attacks on, you know, our diplomats, our government officials, they're still not talking about microwave and sonic attacks on targeted individuals, on people who are activists, people who are protesters. They don't want to talk about that. And that pisses me off. So we're going to continue to honk our horn until we're heard about this topic because directed energy weapons, sonic weapons, lasers, magnetic weapons, infrasound, these are the weapons of the future. These are the weapons that will be used to oppress those who love freedom. So learn the technologies. Know what they are. Learn whatever you can about how to protect yourself from them and watch the show tonight at on quite frankly you might learn something about protecting yourself from crazy freaking political hack motivated hackers or cyber terrorists as they put it um but they're not the only ones there's criminals every day there's ransomware there's software as a service ransomware as a service um, there, there are so many people out there looking to break into your computer. We're going to get into all of that. Um, and why, you know, hacktivism died and why we need it more now than ever. Tune in tonight. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, like I said, please go over to connect.climbviewer.com, support my work, go over to quite frankly tonight, watch the show. It's going to be freaking epic. Um, and um, with this information comes power, and with power comes great responsibility. So please use this, in this information and not directed energy weapons to attack ideas, not people.